Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today, what we're doing actually is primarily looking at how we can work intelligently with text um, and subtle call to actions to really improve our Power BI dashboards. So we're looking at a minimalistic Power BI dashboard that I previously used and we're going to see how we can use, like I said, our text call to actions and drop downs to still maintain that minimal element, but power it up. So some concepts or key concepts we want to think of is that less is more, manage our dashboard space effectively throughout. We want to vary font weight and height, subtle, not obvious call to action text, and I'll explain why that's important. And I want to encourage interactivity via these call to actions. So first of all, if you didn't know, um, a call to action is just a dashboard element designed to induce the end user to perform a specific action um, that's in line with the aim of our dashboard. So we have this drop down set up purely just with a bookmark. So if you haven't done that before, um, I've got previous videos on this or, or you can go look at other resources, but it's a really nice way to maintain um, good dashboard real estate management. So we've got a few elements. We've got text elements at varying levels. So obviously the title of this explanatory text sort of drop down. We have our slicers. Um, and, and these are all within the same font style, Arial. Um, we have an element just to close this down in the bookmark. And one of the things that you need to remember in Power BI, to, to really get that power, you don't need to cram too much on a dashboard, but it's about having interactivity and layering so we can, again, go outside and view orders in an ERP tool. We have side navigation, lots of different comparisons um, and ways to visualize our data. And underneath that text and slicers, we have those, what, what I've called call to action elements. So they're purely just buttons and we've got who this was created by. Um, we've also got suggest changes so where end users can feel like they're part of the process and have their voices heard. Um, and we also, any terms that you don't understand. So when you hover over this blank button, we have a separate action for on hover and we have the basis of version control. We'll have this somewhere else, but that's just a quick way for people to see what version they're on. Um, we can allow people to click and make changes. So again, there's another element of interactivity that's powering this up. And you can easily insert emojis. We'll look at that later. Again, just to give it a bit more visual flair if you like um, and resonate with a universal audience. And we can also click there to view data dictionary. So it's another way um, to really appear appeal to a broad range of people who may not be as data savvy as other departments within the company um, so they can have a, a sort of glossary of terminology. So I've actually went ahead and just isolated this drop down that, that I built previously. Um, as you can see there's an action there with the, the custom image icon just to turn the explainer off, this explanatory drop down. Um, but a few things, there's nothing overly complex. It's just a shape with a shadow um, as the backing. We have an icon. Then we have different levels of text where we primarily use Arial. And just to differentiate, like I said, that call to action, we leave it subtle um, with just a different, a lighter font. Um, and we're using Courier New font style as opposed to Arial. And that's because we don't want to draw people away from the actual purpose, which is the dynamic slicers and the text. The interactivity is great and it increases buy-in, but it's a secondary function. Um, as you can see, we can also insert emojis. You just need to click Windows button and the period or the full stop punctuation in order to allow that. Um, but like I said, there's nothing complex here, but it's about consideration. Um, that more of a web app like feel and encouraging people to navigate. That's something that's not always perfected in Power BI dashboards. And essentially, if we stick to those core concepts that we had before, less is more. We manage our space effectively with things like this, where we don't cram in information into the dashboard and people actually lose sight of their metrics and insights. We just need to vary our font weight and height, subtle call to action text, keep those secondary and encourage interactivity. You'll really manage to power up your Power BI dashboards. As usual, like, subscribe, comment and share.